Canada Border Services is gearing up for another busy summer. With the arrival of spring, more people are traveling and cross-border traffic will be dramatically increasing over the next few months. And today, the chief mountain port of entry opened for the season. As Terry Boat discovered, it will quickly become one of southern Alberta's busiest border crossings. The Chief Mountain border crossing has just reopened and within minutes the first visitors arrive. Were there any vehicle repairs, alterations? Or a couple from the Netherlands on a scenic journey that started a few weeks ago in Ontario. Yes, we have uh, about 150 people following us uh, on the internet. Uh. Started in Toronto and went down uh, to the US and now going back to Canada to see some beautiful Box, I hope. Border services officers say tourists or park hoppers account for the vast majority of travelers that use this remote crossing. It's one that provides the shortest route between two national parks, Waterton in Canada and Glacier in the U.S. And so we get a lot of people that come through and they see, want to see the different areas and come through the mountains and that's, that's what this port attracts is those, those types of travelers. For the CBSA officers stationed here, this is more than just a workplace. It's also their home for the summer. They like it. <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of a, it's a relief, right? You're coming up to an area that you walk out and you see the mountains and the trees. You know, you got a, the wildlife there on your back doorstep, and so they, they love it. Mackenzie Meehan likes the scenery, but says it's also a nice change from crossings that see a high volume of commercial or business traffic. This is purely for pleasure though, so people are generally very happy and very, um, very quick to comply with whatever we ask. They're, they're very helpful. It's quiet right now, but it's going to get busier. Over the next four and a half months, 65,000 travelers will pass through the Chief Mountain border crossing. Canada Border Services says ports like this may be smaller and more remote, but that doesn't change the job. At times, it just makes it more enjoyable. Terry Boat, CTV News, at the Chief Mountain Border Crossing. Canada Border Service Agency says there are some simple things you can do to speed up your traveling through the border. Make sure you have your ID and other documents ready to go. Declare all of your purchases. Be prepared to show receipts. Officials say it's important to keep in mind that even if you exceed your personal exemption limit and have to pay GST, it's still a small amount compared to paying the penalties or having the items taken away.